Listen, everybody, to the words I have to say. Better get ready, because the Lord is coming one day. This is Daniel White the Third with the Second Coming Watch update. Let's take a quick look at today's prophecy related headlines, which points towards the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and the end of the world. First up today, Palestine says they are one step away from pursuing statehood with international bodies. According to the Jerusalem Post, the Palestinian Authority is one step away from approaching international organizations unilaterally. Should Israel fail to respond positively to a letter sent by President Mahmoud Abbas to Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, Foreign Affairs Minister Riyad al-Malki said that the Palestinians will seek consultation from other Arab nations before deciding the next step towards achieving an independent Palestinian state. Secondly, today, U.S. unveils new sanctions against Iran and Syria. According to the AFP, U.S. President Barack Obama ordered new sanctions on Syria and Iran and the digital guns for hire who helped them oppress their people with surveillance software and monitoring technology. At a speech at the U.S. Holocaust Museum, Obama announced additions to the pile of U.S. sanctions already faced by the two governments as part of a wider effort to crack down on human rights abuses, atrocities, and genocide. The measures will hit the two governments, but also companies that help create systems that track or monitor their people for killing, torture, or other abuses and uh, uh, prevent individuals involved from entering the United States. Thirdly, today, Christians in India stopped from building a new church. Pray for them. According to Christian Today, Christians in a village in India have been prevented from building a new church on recently purchased land. Pastor Sam Chandran, who is supported by Gospel for Asia, bought to the land in order to build a larger church to house his growing congregation. His current church in the village, both of which cannot be named for security reasons, has room for up to 90 people during service time. Gospel for Asia said that anti-Christian residents in the village had stopped at the construction of the church from going forward. Ladies and gentlemen, we're living in perilous times, dangerous times, wicked times. You can read these stories in depth and get more prophecy-related news at secondcomingherald.com. In closing, if you will, remember the words of the Lord Jesus Christ in Matthew 24:42 and Matthew 24:44. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doeth come. Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. If you are not ready, please get ready. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world. That means that if you're in this world, God loves you right now. No matter what you've done, where you've been, what you're doing, God loves you. So much so, that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for your sins. He was buried and rose again on the third day, that whosoever believeth in him, in Jesus Christ, should not perish, perish where? In hell, but have everlasting life. 
in heaven with God. We walk by faith and not by sight. May I encourage you to accept Jesus Christ as your Savior today so that you can be truly ready for uh, the return of Jesus Christ in these last days. God bless you. Got to get your business straight.